everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and, and staying safe and your schoolwork is going well. Uh, I've had a few pictures sent to me this week of you either doing a craft or baking your cookies from a cookie in a, uh, your cookies in a jar. So please send me any anything that you're doing. So a youth package uh, will be delivered uh, soon again. Our lesson this week is found in the book of Mark, which is the New Testament. Remember Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and so on. Jesus heals a man with leprosy. Okay, chapter 1, beginning with verse 40. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Filled with compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was cured. Leprosy is something that we don't really hear uh, anything about other than referring uh, to it in the Bible. But during that time, a person would be covered just with terrible sores, and they would try to keep them covered with rags or cloth or or something, and uh, they usually lived by themselves in what was kind of called uh, a leper's uh, colony. They had a feeling that they just, it was just hopeless. There was no cure for leprosy back then, and they, and they just felt hopeless, and you know, uh, they would have this terrible disease until they died. So, and during that time period, uh, uh, people thought that they were unclean, as the man said in the Bible, and that perhaps they had committed a terrible sin in order to have this disease. So, uh, as I said, we don't hear much about that anymore, but uh, we know that this is uh, something that Jesus one of the many miracles that he did during this time period, he healed this man. And so sometimes we feel in our lives that uh, things are just kind of hopeless. Maybe, you know, there's a situation happening with you or and, and you feel hopeless about that. But turn your hopelessness over to Jesus. Ask him into your heart. Remember, he died on the cross for our sins, but he wants us to live with him forever in heaven. Remember, uh, before we close down again, we were working on John uh, 3.16. Uh, and we know that God loved us so much that he sent his only uh, begotten or his one and only son to die in the cross for our sins so that we might have eternal life. So turn that hopelessness over to Jesus. So uh, I had also wanted to say, and uh, Paul talks about uh, faith, hope, and love, and you can't have one without having the other. So let's ask Jesus into our hearts and turn that hopelessness into hope. So let's pray. We thank you, Jesus, for this day and for dying on the cross for our sins. We ask that you be with those that feel hopeless at this time. We ask that you be with those that have COVID or that have some other health issue. Thank you for all the blessings that you give us for uh, living in this wonderful country that we do. In your name we pray. Amen.